Dr. Chelsea Hagopian. Good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Chelsea Hagopian. I am a nurse practitioner working in plastic and reconstructive surgery, and I hold a doctorate of nursing practice in health systems leadership. My goal today is to present the nursing perspective on how certified patient decision aids can be used to directly support informed consent discussions between patients and surgeons. Certified patient decision aids are structured, evidence-based educational tools. Standards for certification are published by the International Patient Decision Aid Standards Collaboration and endorsed by the National Quality Forum. The specific relevance to this panel is that use of these tools could help connect breast implant safety, effectiveness, and real-world evidence to patients in a meaningful way. The decision to have breast implant surgery, whether for cosmetic or reconstructive purposes, is preference sensitive. More than one medically appropriate treatment option is available, so the patient's informed preferences are required to guide decision making. Here, best practice to accomplish effective informed consent is through a process of shared decision making. Surgeons use data-driven evidence and their clinical expertise to educate patients of treatment options and associated risks and benefits. Patients use the knowledge of their own experiences to inform surgeons of their values and informed preferences. Informed consent discussions do not occur in a vacuum. Patients have varying levels of understanding of their surgical options and therapeutic goals. Readily available patient education materials and lengthy informed consent documents are often not helpful. As an alternative to traditional informed consent materials, certified patient decision aids can empower the patient and each member of the care team with quality and understandable information. These tools better support collaborative informed consent discussions between patients and their surgeons by reinforcing key data points that can be updated as new information is discovered. No certified patient decision aid exists for aesthetic procedures. For that reason, I designed a development process model for creating certifiable patient decision aids to potentially replace traditional informed consent documents for aesthetic procedures. Presently, I'm working with the Aesthetic Society to complete a pilot study focused on primary breast augmentation. This work aligns with existing efforts of the FDA to ensure that patients are better informed about the risks of breast implants, both at the time of breast implant surgery and longitudinally. I encourage the panel and the FDA to consider the potential value of using certified patient decision aids to communicate breast implant safety, effectiveness, and real-world evidence to patients to better support best practice for informed consent discussions between patients and surgeons. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Melinda Hull